Hello, Heather here. Today we are doing a thermo bob job on a KLR 650. This is a 2007. So we got the thermo bob um, from Wattman. This is the thermo bob two. Um, it comes uh, nicely wrapped in all these little uh, kind of newspaper packages. So you get two thermo bobs on a uh, housing for the thermo bob. Uh, some hose and so that the runoff can be assembled and a T uh, fitting for the for the new hose. Um, I also went on the internet and printed out. He has really great color um, instructions, so we'll be following these today. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. The first step is me taking off the gas tank, and we'll just do that um, based on the instructions in the manual. Okay, so now we have the gas tank off, and I want to mention that it's not necessary to take the gas tank off to do this job. Um, it does make it so you can see everything much easier. Um, so this is uh, the thermostat that we're trying to get into, and with the gas tank covering it, it hits right about here. And so getting to this bolt with a torque wrench to make sure that it's uh, properly tightened was difficult with the gas tank on and also just generally seeing it. So for this job, I took the gas tank off. Next, I'm going to drain the radiator. So the radiator cap is right down here. Um, and so we're gonna empty that out next. Okay. So to create airflow, we are gonna remove the eight radiator cap right here. Now to remove the drain plug, which is right here. Now we're gonna reinstall the drain plug here, and the, there's a little washer on it too, and we're going to five foot-pounds of torque. Okay, so the next steps here, this is the hose that comes from the radiator into the top of the cylinder head, and the thermostat lives in here, so we're gonna be removing this, adding the casing, adding the larger thermobob, and reattaching here, adding a T to this hose, and the T will create a bypass down into the bottom uh, radiator tank um, to provide better uh, runoff. Um, so now we're gonna be removing these three bolts that holds the casing into the thermostat. So Wattman recommends putting some sort of cover over your exhaust here. Um, because there will be probably some radiator fluid still left in here, um, so avoid making a mess. Now we are re removing the factory thermostat and the gasket and it slides right out. So we are not, re we're replacing this entire unit. So we have a new thicker gasket that will be replacing the old one and you place that right in there. Here is the new thermobob with the expanded housing. When you're looking at it from the outside, Wattman recommends that the bleed hole, which is right there at the top, that little kind of uh, paper clip sized hole be uh, in the 12 o'clock position. So we're gonna fix this uh, right back in there with the extended bolts that's provided in the Thermobob kit. Okay, now that we all have these finger tight, we're gonna use the torque wrench to get these to about five foot pound of uh, torque on each bolt here. Okay. 
Okay, we're now going to be removing this hose, so the rear hose into uh, the bottom radiator uh, fluid. So we're going to remove uh, this hose clamp, and then there's also a hose clamp at the other end of this on the radiator side that I'll go on the other side to undo. Okay, we are now on the other side of the bike, and uh, here's the the end of that hose that we loosen that goes down to the bottom of the radiator. Alright. Now we have it out, and we are going to be cutting in uh, a section out of this and adding the T-fitting. Okay, we're now going to be adding this T-fitting to the hose that we just removed, the lower hose. Um, Wattman provides this really great detailed uh, explanation of this was in the coolant pump and this was the upper end and the radiator, so I'm matching up against his drawing here. We're going to be cutting a portion that's a 5 8 inch, inch inches worth here to fit uh, RT, I believe it's going to go that way. So. Okay, we're now going to reinstall um, this hose back into the coolant pump and the radiator side. And then this is going to be our new uh, drain off into uh, the thermobob. One thing Wattman points out is that you don't want the bypass hose resting on the exhaust pipe. Um, obviously you don't want that getting too hot. So uh, we can recommend shortening the bypass hose so you get a snugger fit and it pulls it further away. So I'm going to just cut off a little bit here, um, a little bit at a time to see how short we should get this. Okay, so one important thing to note is you want this rear hose to be underneath the shift lever here because uh, you don't want to be compressing that. Um, and we just had to replace this hose clamp here because it was rusted out. So tighten that. You can just pull the hose off or yeah, whatever. Okay, so we're going to need a new hose clamp here. To finish the job though, we're just going to go around and make sure all the hose clamps are tightened. Uh, then obviously refill the radiator with some coolant, and that's it. Um, so that is the Thermobob uh, installation on a 2007 KLR 650. Oops. <laughs>